Hey, it's Ed from Gonzo Art Studio, and I'm here with Mary. I'm restoring Mary. Mary is peeling, and someone asked me for an estimate, and This is a lot of work, you know. I mean, it's all that to remove this all that. It's just a lot of work. You know, and I gave them a price and they're like, no. And that'd be over a thousand dollars. And but I, when I found out it was for an 85 year old woman uh, who's on a fixed income, I decided to donate it, okay? And and I'm, I want to show you how to do it yourself in case you have a neighbor, aunt, uncle, grandma that has one of these and she wants these restored their beloved statues. She's Mary. And down here, the cool thing is she's stepping on a snake. A snake is supposed to be the devil. And it's all peeling down here too. And I'm going to be doing this... Um, the videos on this uh, a step by step okay the first thing you do is you, you look at the surface and decide what you need to do and what really went wrong uh, they didn't sand it properly prior someone took this break hand and they ah, I can do it you know and so many people destroy these that don't know what they're doing you know and it causes people your grief you know if you don't know what you're doing don't do it you know if you're not going to take the time and do it correctly don't do it they're better off the way they are versus a knucklehead painting over an uh, unsanded surface um so this is 100 grit uh, oh, this is 80 grit this is 80 grit i started with 80 grit right here It's just peeling off. Now, some people would do what they would do is they take it to a, a power wash. Um, well, first of all, this thing's about 200 pounds, believe it or not. This is heavy. This is heavy. This is at least 150 pounds. Um, and it's, it, and if, you, if you, you take a power wash, you can chip off fine detail. And if you, if you, you have to do that, well, it can be just cause more work. The best thing to do is to sand it. And the feather off until it stops peeling. So as you see here, see all this color right here? Well, I'm not gonna bore you by every little bit of it. Uh, I'm probably gonna go and time lapse it. I get it in the zone. It really is. And you don't think of it as like, oh, it's going to take forever. Just do a little bit every, every you know. I'm going to be coming out here every evening and do a little bit more work on it. I'm three and a half miles north of eight mile Detroit. There, I'm in Roseville, Michigan right here. In downtown, an old part of town. We have a beautiful old church across the street right here. Sacred Heart Church. I have a big mural of Mary painted inside of my building. Long story with that. I paint all kinds of different things. Let me see if I can show you. Closer. See how it's peeling? And I'm going to end up... Here, you sand it until it sticks. So you see it's not flaking off. Which is... So this, is, this has got a lot to go. Now, what I like about this Mary is... She has a little bit different shaped face. 
Um, I'm gonna bring the face out better with the paint. You know, I'm not gonna put a lot of a lot on there, just enough. Uh, I'll show you real quickly my mural. On the side of the building here of Mary. See, that's Mary. She's looking at Sacred Heart Church over there. And uh, we're trying to have that church repurposed instead of torn down for something, you know, thoughtless as a storage unit. It's in the middle of our town town. So that's the reason why I painted Mary on the side of the building there. And it seems to be working. Mary's watching over the church. And this is why I am drawn to the restoration projects of Mary every once in a while. Yeah, I ended up doing it for free because they cost they a lot of time. A lot of time and effort. I used to be in the automotive industry. Okay, and painting cars. And this is I'm sure this is basically like there's a lot of a lot of, types of, a lot of similarities of painting a car in this surface right here. Uh, this is a uh, cement. Um, you sand it down in, until it sticks. Whatever they had in there, it seems to be doing somewhat pretty well. Uh, a good primer is is necessary. Cement primer. I airbrush it. Um, so I'm going to be showing you in the next, the next a series of days here. Uh, you can follow me along on this YouTube channel uh, to see how it's done, okay? Just a little patience, okay? And you can do it yourself. Yes, you can. You can do it yourself.